Hi, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Do you know what animal has eight legs, no teeth, and paralyzes its prey by injecting it with poisonous venom? You're right, the spider. Today, we are going to learn all about spiders, where they live, what they eat, how they protect themselves, and so much more. Let's begin our journey by listening to a really cool song, What is a Spider? Did you know that eight legs a spider has? They are not insects, but in a special class, for they are called arachnids with two body parts. How can we tell these animals apart? Now let's look at a spider And you will see that a spider has eight eyes But he has no wings A cephalothorax and the abdomen Are parts of our little spider friend Listen and I'll tell you just how a spider eats once the prey is captured, the meal won't retreat. For venom is injected, the prey is paralyzed. Then quickly the prey becomes liquidized. Now spiders, they have no teeth with which to eat. Like sucking from a straw, their meal becomes a treat. It might take several hours just to liquefy a fly. But well worth the wait for the spider's appetite. So cleanse in the abdomen, a spider will reline. Although they all don't spin webs, but silk they all supply. Spiders are important for they prey on insect pests that damage crops and do things that farmers detest. Yikes! Well, I learned a ton about spiders. I know some people are afraid of spiders, but they are really helpful to our environment. Spiders eat a variety of insect pests that normally damage crops and carry diseases. In fact, spiders eat more insects than any other animal. Are you ready to learn more interesting facts about these amazing creatures? Let's do it! There are more than 35,000 different kinds of them. They can be found almost everywhere. They are one of the few animals in the world that use traps to catch prey. And they have been the stars of hundreds of scary movies. What are they? Answer, spiders. What is a spider? It is an arachnid, a class of animal that includes scorpions and ticks. Many people think that spiders are insects, but they are not. Both insects and spiders have an exoskeleton, or hard shell, on the outside of their body. But unlike insects, 
Spiders have only two separate body sections. The cephalothorax, which is the head and chest area, and the abdomen. Insects have three body sections. Spiders are distant relatives of lobsters and crabs. All spiders have eight legs, four on each side. Insects only have six legs. And speaking of eight, spiders have up to eight eyes. They also have fangs that they use when they eat. Many spiders have sharp claws on their feet that help them climb. Spider body parts. Exoskeleton. Two sections. Cephalothorax and abdomen. Eight legs. Up to eight eyes. Bangs. What do spiders eat? Anything they are big enough to catch. That's why most spiders feed on insects and sometimes other spiders. Big spiders have big appetites. Some are large enough to eat mice, frogs, lizards and small birds. But no matter the size, every spider uses its fangs to inject venom. The venom paralyzes or kills the victim. Then the spider sucks out its bodily juices. Spiders can't chew, so they only eat liquids. Spiders eat insects, other spiders, fish, mice, frogs and lizards, small birds. Where do spiders live? Everywhere. Spiders are found in all areas of the world. Forests, deserts, the tropics, mountains, caves, even in the icy cold Arctic. Some even live on the water's edge. Some spiders like to make their home in your home. Spiders live in forests, deserts, tropical rainforests, mountains, the Arctic, beaches, near lakes, streams, and ponds, caves in your home. How do spiders spin webs? They use special body parts called spinnerets that are located in their abdomen. The spinnerets release long, sticky strands of silk thread. The spider weaves the silk strands together into a web. To make a web like this, a spider starts by making triangles that meet at the center. Then it weaves a circular pattern around that point. Why do spiders spin webs? For lots of reasons. Many spiders use their webs as homes and to trap victims. The orb weaver spins a big sticky web to catch a meal. Insects fly into it and get stuck. And then there's spider food. Too bad, fly. The funnel weaver spins a cone-shaped web and waits inside. When a victim comes into its funnel web, the spider strikes. Some spiders, however, do not spin silk for homes or traps. The jumping spider spins a silk safety line when it makes a big jump. Although spiders do not have wings, they can sometimes sail through the air for great distances. As the wind carries them aloft, they simply let out longer and longer safety lines. The female nursery web spider wraps her eggs safely in a silk sack. Then she builds a nursery for the sack by folding over a leaf and tying it up with silk. It's just like a spider baby bassinet. Why spiders spin silk? To build homes, to catch other animals, 
to make safety lines, to travel great distances, to protect eggs. Where do baby spiders come from? They hatch from eggs. Baby spiders are called spiderlings. Some spiderlings ride on their mother's back until they are large and strong enough to be on their own. As they get bigger, spiderlings outgrow their exoskeletons, just like you outgrow an old pair of sneakers. And as they shed their hard shells, new ones form. How spiders grow up, hatch from eggs, some ride on mother's back, shed their skin as they grow. How do spiders protect themselves? Usually by hiding. The trapdoor spider stays inside a covered burrow most of the time. Others, like the crab spider, just blend into the background. That's called camouflage. Many spiders can drop quickly on web lines to avoid danger. Some jump to get away from enemies. And if all else fails, a spider may break off one of its legs to escape the grip of a hungry animal. A tarantula's hairs can make predators itch, so they stay away. Spider defenses, camouflage, web lines, jumping, breaking off a leg, itchy hairs. Bet you didn't know. Jumping spiders can leap more than 50 times their own body length. Ounce for ounce, the female black widow spider's venom is 15 times more deadly than that of a rattlesnake. The water spider traps bubbles of air in a silken dome to breathe underwater. Crab spiders can walk forward, backward, or even sideways. The spitting spider spits sticky goo at victims to keep them from running away. After mating, the female black widow often eats the male. Spiders spin different kinds of silk, some sticky and non-sticky. They walk on the non-sticky silk and use the sticky silk to trap victims. Spiders are cool. There's really no reason not to like them. Unless you're a fly. Well, that about does it for today's episode. I hope you'll do more research and learn more about spiders. Remember, there are over 35,000 different kinds of them. So, choose your favorite one and keep learning. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime. Anytime.